It's time for Highlands basketball today from Mount Pleasant High School, deep in the bowels of Westmoreland County. The Highlands Golden Rams visit the Mount Pleasant Vikings, along with the Dean, Mike Choma. This is Mike Pavlik, and Courtney Stewart is alongside for the ride tonight. Uh, Dean, it was a pretty good trip down for us, even though it was raining a little. Not too bad, Mike. Right down Toll Road in the 31, and I was surprised we got her because we played last year, but I didn't recognize the gym, and we played in the junior high last year because they had a big wrestling tournament here, so we're with the big boys today. You know what that means. This is gym number 74. We get to tick another one off the list. Love it. Two in the same building. All right, well, Tuesday night was the big one against the Knock Knights. The Rams came back with a big second half and won the game by seven, and so you come off of that into this, and they're back on top. They're back to being number one. Yeah, Mike, and it's a good thing that uh, the kids played that well. Johnny, we didn't know his question mark coming into the game, but boy, did he come on strong. 24, scored his 1,000 points. Got to give Luke Cocker credit too, Mike. He played a great floor game. Only had eight points, but he was a floor general. He controlled the pace. I always talk about how important the pace of the game is, that you want to set the pace. He did that night, and again, it was important that we got that win. Tied us for the section lead, but jumped us back at number one. Thank you very much. Laurel Highlands, who beat Union Time, kept them in number two. We get back to number one. Now we have to stay there, Mike. Part two. We do. Let's talk about the other senior. You mentioned two of them there. Let's talk about Corey Myers, and, and what a consistent force he has been for the Rams this year. We were talking earlier today. It reminds me of the way that Sean Ursic uh, went in his senior year and was very consistent in each and every game. You knew exactly what you were going to get, and that's what we've gotten out of Corey this year. Well, he uses Sean Ursic formula, Mike, and that is hard work, and that's what Sean did between his junior and senior year. Can't say enough about how hard he worked over the summer. People assume because you get older, you get better. That's a bad assumption. You get better by working harder, and that's what he did. And Again, he made that big three right before the half against Mock, and I thought there was such a momentum swing in that game. Then he hit those three pointers in the third and fourth quarter. Mike, I like to use the word daggers, and he put the dagger in that night against Mock. He sure did. So we come in here to Mount Pleasant, and they are a resurgent group. They won only five games a year ago. They're 11 and 8. They're 5 and 3. They have clinched a playoff spot for the first time since 2016, and they're also trying to get their first winning season after five straight losing seasons under Coach Alan Belinsky, and they've been terrific this year. Got a playoff spot locked up, Mike. A lot of that thanks has to go to Jake Johnson. He was a force against us at Highlands in the first game. Scored 25 points in the first half. We had no answer for him. Finished with 30 for the game. Johnny played in the second half. Johnny and Corey split on him and again held him to five points. Uh, we'll see him start again here tonight. And uh, He had 43 against Derry. Became a member of the Thousand Point Club, so it's been a great season for Jake Johnson. The whole Johnson family happy to be in the playoffs. Oh, they are, and uh, they are back in there this year, and our, our section is cinched up. Derry clinched the other night, so Freeport and Yock are out. The other four are in, and we will march forward um, into the playoffs, which will start probably for Highlands three weeks from tomorrow. Here's a little note for you. Highlands' first playoff game will be the same day as the F Pirates' first Grapefruit League game. February 22nd. February 22nd. Yeah. Think about that a minute. Yeah, That's like, about it. And the Pirates haven't even thought about going to Florida yet, so this is how long it is till the playoffs. Well, Planet Fitness at the Heights Plaza in Atrona Heights is your home of the Judgment Free Zone. They provide a unique setting where everyone, and we mean everyone, is free to work out in a non-intimidating environment for as little as $10 a month, especially when the weather's like this. It's not completely horrible outside, but it's not great walking weather either, so if you want to get your steps in, if you want to get your cardio in, there's no better place than Planet Fitness to do that. If you'd like to ask about the black card, go up and ask Tara about it. Uh, you're free to visit any of their 2,000 locations nationwide and bring a guest as free and as often as you want. Remember, memberships are available for as low as $10 a month. So stop by and say hi to Tara at Planet Fitness in the Heights Plaza today. She said we're making her famous, Mike. Everybody comes up and says they hear the ad. Well, so that's what we want to hear. I was there Wednesday, and all I did was give out high fives. That was my exercise for the day. <laughs> Everybody's so happy about Tuesday night. All right. Well, everybody was. All right. That'll uh, wrap up the pregame show. The tip-off is coming up at Mile Pleasant. It's the Rams and the Vikings, and it's right after this. Welcome back to Mount Pleasant. Time for the starting lineups. First, the visiting Rams and their traveling Brown. Mike, number one, Jimmy Quince, freshman, six foot two, averaging 6.9 per game. Number 11, we talked about it in the pregame, Corey Myers, six one, senior, averaging 16.4 per game. Joaquin Roman gets a start in the middle, 6'4", junior. Where's number 50, average is 6.3. Number 23, Luke Cochran, 6'2", senior, average 18.5. 
And the big guy in the middle coming off that big game in lock with 24 and his 1,000 point, Johnny Christ, six foot six senior, averaging 12.9 per game. As always, the starting lineups brought to you by Dan Timmons Painting and Natrona Heights. Since 1979, they got you covered. And Mike, Mike Pleasant Vikings, coached by Alan Bilski. He's a former AD, right? He's the former AD, assistant principal in this building, and also uh, gave up the AD duties to take the coaching job full time. This is his second season. He'll start number five, Ta Tyler Salvatore, a 5 2 junior. Number 10, Nick Gureshko, a 6'1 junior. Same start to five as last time, Mike. Okay. Number 12, the guy in the middle. Actually, number 23, Luke Bradner, 6'6 six six sophomore. He's a kid can slam the ball. Number 35, Jonas King, 6'5 junior. And rightfully so, they hold number 12, Jacob Johnson, 6'3 senior. Better known as JJ, I just heard. JJ, Mike. that is correct. Remember to beautify and protect. Call Dan Timmons Painting today, 724-224. 2851 stores, schools, churches, any of your commercial and industrial paintings needs. Dan Timmons painting, they got you covered. You can call me Jay, and you can call me Ray J, or you can call him JJ. Jay, but don't call me Ray J. You call, don't call me Johnson. Either. As a matter of fact, we'll call him whatever he wants after that performance he put on in our building. Of course, the second half of that game, Johnny Christ shut him down. Question is, will Johnny start on him tonight? And or will they play man at all? We'll see. Well, I thought man worked very well last week against Talk in the second half. It did. That seemed like, you know, weeks ago, and it was just two days yeah. ago. That was amazing. Referees for tonight, Sean Gooch, John Kapinski, and Mario Margella. Apologizing in advance, we go to the right-hand corner, Mike. The student section stands. We're not going to be able to see Yeah, it that now. corner, we're done. There's nothing <laughs> we can do about it. Do the best you can, Courtney. Here's the tip. Brander won it. And the Vikings move right to left, dressed in their home white uniforms. This is Salvatore out top. They are 11 and 8. Mike, Johnny's got the uh, Johnson on the way. Yep, already point. started with yep. it. Johnson out of the corner. Now Luke came over with a double team. Now King tipped it up in the air and controlled it. Here's Johnson. Lost it backward, yep. but it was tipped by Cochran. Tried to use a King screen. Drives all the way to the basket. Kicked it out to Salvatore. He had trouble with it. And Mike, Johnny doesn't have many more because we switch on all screens. So if you notice right away, he came off of Johnson. Cochran has him now. Here's King in the post up against Roman. Missed a shot. Rebound. Salvatore got through there. But Cochran's able to control it for the Rams. So 45-second possession comes up empty for Alan Belinsky. And the Rams have the basketball moving left to right. Here's Cochran, left elbow. Loop it into Christ off the alley. Oh, nice pass. Uh, did we give him an assist on that one, Mike? That was literally tic-tac-toe. Uh -huh. If it was hockey, there'd be two assists. Roman puts it in. It's 2 nothing Highlands. Here's Johnson. Quickly, Quickly to the, yeah, yeah, he can move. And he steps on the baseline. Turns it over at 6.51 with a 2 nothing Highlands lead. Again, the Rams are two wins away from their third consecutive section championship, something that's never been done in the 52-year history of the school. And I think those guys on the floor know it, Mike. Now to win tonight, and they got to win Tuesday night against Derry. And then it won't matter what Knock does. In the post to Cochran. Kick it out to Myers. Gets him organized. His three is down, and it's 5 nothing. Corey Myers right now has 55 threes on the year. Nearly a steal by Christ. I got to lit it up. Now King's wide open on the baseline as he takes care of the overplay, and Jonas King has the first two for the Vikings. Five to two. You know, we have 402 point passes coming in tonight. 143. Roman made his own room, and he draws the foul. Jonas King going to get his first. Johnny Christ joining Luke Cochran. Of course, if you missed that, that's only the second time in school history that the Rams have had two players get 1,000 in the same year. In 2009, Damon Porter and Jeff Sinclair were able to accomplish that feat. Ro Roman gets the first. He'll get another. 11 to 22 coming into the line tonight, 50%. Gets the first. Gets them both. And the second. Four early points for the big fella, and it's 7-2. Hines gets the pressure now, Mike. Salvatore. Now this is Brander. First time he's touched it tonight. Across to Johnson. Follow a jumper off the back rim. No good. And rebound Kunst. Johnny altered that shot, Mike. Johnny altered four shots in the knock game that went in. It actually blocked them. Tires goes out of the corner, and he's fouled on his way to the basket. That'll be a floor foul. That might be King's second. Rams will key it in at 552. 
Yeah, Mike, they're going to send somebody to the scorer's table. Good crowd on hand here at Mount Pleasant tonight. Both sides filled up. Actually, no, Mike, they gave it their brand or so. The subs had done. Cochran thought about it, but Myers will take it. Three, in and out. Tipped around. It's loose, and Christ came out of there with it. Two, three. Cochran will reset things at the Big Viking center circle. 5.35 left first quarter, 7-2 Highlands. Now it looks like they changed to a 1-3-1. One, one. When that happens, Mike, you say matchup. Because <laughs> you know, they're doing right. a little bit of everything. I post to Christ, back over to Cochran, thought about it, but they got on him quickly. Look at that. Fired at cross court. Back out top to Kuntz. Puts it on the floor. It lost the handle. Got it back. Needs some help. Ball's Still tipped out of bounds. Yeah. And it is. It's John Kapinski, the official. Got a little help from Mario Margella there, making sure. And Highlands keeps it. Looping into Kreis. Back out to Myers. Now to Cochran. Roman. Right there. Down to Kreis. Here's Johnny. Just a little lay in, though. And it's 9-2. He cradled that one, Mike. And he got to be ginger. He says hurting a little bit still. Remember, against the Allardyce uh, game on Sunday. Oh, steal by, by Myers. Myers. Look at he him. drives. He lays. He scores. Timeout. Mount Pleasant at the 451 mark. And the Rams lead it 11-2. to two. That happened fast, huh, Mike? It sure did. All right, Mike. Gives me a chance to tell you about Hot and Tire. Winners here. There's no better way than right now to stop in Hot and Tire. And Highland Integrity Alignment. See why they've been voted the best to buy tires in the AK Valley since 1993. And this year voted number one for auto repair. Founded by Butch Bonnet in 1951, Highland Tire offers one of the largest and most complete inventory of tires and wheels in the Pittsburgh area. And as always, if you don't see it on site, ask for it. They'll get it for you. Visit HighlandTire.com or give them a call in Trenum, 724-224-9222. In the Heights, 724-224-3900. Or Highland Integrity Alignment, 724-224. 4-5900. Highland Tire now offering oil changes at both locations. Service integrity price, they deliver. If you want an appointment, call Highland Integrity Alignment. If you just want to take your turn in line, just go right over to Highland Tire for the oil change. Rams by nine. And Johnson not on the board yet. Salvatore backcourt. Looping into Johnson with a quick touch pass to Brander. He goes down on the blocks Whoa. and King tried to, I'm not sure if he tried to dunk it or lay it up or whatever, but he got literally rim rejected. Now to Kreis. Oh, he got he fouled. Got fouled. Johnny shoots two at 433. That's going to be King's second foul. I got him that time, Mike. No, he did. No, there you could hear the slap all the way up here. Johnny, 46 of 84, 55% from the line. He made a lot of big foul shots the other night, too, Mike. He did. And he had a terrific night. First is good. And speaking of terrific, what a crowd, huh? That was so crazy. Um, Everybody I know I talked to had the same word, electric. I mean, it, you could just feel it in the air. It, it, was, was. it was unbelievable. Both student groups had a great time, well-behaved. Uh, yeah, no trouble. And yep. Drew Carpenter, athletic director, deserves a lot of credit for the organizational uh, skills he showed getting all that together. It was a tremendous job by him. Oh, Johnson just Barrel ran Barrel. over Cochran. Now a shot by Branders blocked. Lead it ahead to Myers. Can he catch up to it? He does. Oh, what a great athletic move, but it won't go. That's and Salvatore be, goes that's down. That's going to be walking. Now, Joaquin pushed him. Uh, he had a big smile on his face when he walked away. Hey, well, I'll trust you on that one. <laughs> I always say in those situations, my plan the work, work the plan. And uh, Drew did a great job to use. pre sale Everything went smoothly. I mean, yes. we had 1,200 people in that gym packed to the raft. Oh, yeah. Poor Robert Cossey come down. He looked like uh, he got burned by the sun up there. He said it was 100. It was warm up top. On top. <laughs> it really was. We were fortunate where we were. 12 <laughs> twos to score. There's Salvatore for court. Hope to have a big crowd Tuesday night for senior night, Mike. Uh, I bet we will. We had a huge crowd the Friday before. Steal by McDaniel. Got his hand on it. Had trouble with it. Now controls it for court. Now to Cochran left side. Ooh, what a great Cutting pass. to the basket, Myers. And it's blocked by Brander. Nice rejection by Brander, Mike. Salvatore now got around to attempted steal by Myers. Johnson's three's up no good. Rebound, Kreis. Went up above Brander to get it. Lead feed to Myers. Drives, lays, blocked it's by four, Johnson. About four times, Mike, that we had the fast break. Couldn't convert. Myers for three. It's off the rim no good. Cochran's Ooh. able to get it. They battle for it. Kreis comes away with it. Down the lane, fouled. Wall to wall action there, Mike. Brandon's going to pick up his second, though. And Bob Pleasant finds themselves in early foul trouble. Boy, I tell you what, 
Corey's doing is get behind the defense, but they are recovering quickly. They are. Like. First is good by Johnny. He'll get another. You know, people are drawing foregone conclusions that uh, Knox and Highland's going to tie. Knox at Derry tonight. Yeah. Yawks at Freeport. I think the, our games are both equally yep. um, dangerous, and you got to be ready to play. The Rams have come out ready to play. They lead it 14 to two. And, and this Nock is very Freeport coming in next week, and that's a, always no. a rivalry. Yep. Tough year for them, though. They've only won three games. Yeah, it's, uh, it's so odd, Mike. I thought much more was going to happen out of that score. Now, three out of the corner by Nick Urechko is no good, and the rebound comes to Cochran. Three minutes left, first quarter. Cochran drives all the way down. Got it blocked. And Brander the rebound. Here's Johnson now. Brander, 6'6", six, six, can jump. Remember yes, he, he can. Dunk him last year. In the other gym. Now we got a whistle. And what's the call? I'll top, I, I believe. Carter, yeah. I think uh, Carter Lear is going to get his first, and that's going to be a non-shooting foul. That is correct. That's two against Highlands. Mount Pleasant's committed four at 254 first quarter. It's 14-2 Rams early on. Like you said, nice crowd here for an early start, 7 o'clock. We didn't know we showed up. We didn't know. But we'd be here for the JV game in the second quarter. It was almost halftime. Yeah. I panicked. Salvatore. Oh, threw a bad pass. And now what's the call? They're going to call foul. You're kidding. See, I, I hate loose. I don't care who it went on. I guess it's on Johnny. I didn't care if it went on Johnson. I would have stuck up for him. Yeah. Because it's just two guys fighting for a loose ball. I don't, I don't know. And I think if Johnny let it go, it's going to be over and back. Credit for the hustle, but it's got a foul out of it. First foul on Christ. That's three on Highlands. Here's Salvatore against Leary. Two points so far with two and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. Well, the best defensive team in 4A. Brander inside the three-point line and drains the jumper. I jinx this, Mike. Yeah, 52 points per game is the best in 4A. Here's oh, Johnny on the alley -oop. Right One down to 225. He got up there for that one. 16 to 4. He now has seven, Mike. He's becoming a scorer. <laughs> He's done that a few times in his life. Look Steal by Look Christ. Out. Look out below. Here's Johnny. Oh, baby. Thank God that knee's holding up, Mike. That's even Time out. Mount Pleasant at 204. The Rams lead it now 18 to 4. Can't blame Alan Belinsky there, Mike. You've got to take a timeout. Well, since opening their doors, the Boucher Agency has been helping local motorists find auto insurance coverage that speaks to their personal priorities. Mel and John at the Boucher Agency want to make ensuring your new teen driver is a stress-free experience. Make sure to ask about their nationwide young driver discount when you compare. Nobody beats the Boucher's rates for young drivers. Call your hometown nationwide agents, John and Mel, 724-224-4300, and choose the coverage that's right for your family. They've eaten in Saturday hours for your convenience. Remember, in the AK Valley, the Boucher's and nationwide are on your side. Saw John at the game on the Tuesday. Chris, everybody was at the game. Everybody on Tuesday. was there virtually. Mike John always helps out with our kickers, and uh, we're going to have a new kicker. Cam Reingold is going to attempt to be a field goal kicker for the Golden Rams. Oh, yeah. And, uh, speaking of football, schedule released yesterday. Let's go through it real the quick. The schedule dropped. Say it like the youngsters. Yeah, okay. Let's like drop. The it. schedule dropped yesterday. I didn't drop it. I have it right here in my Thank hand. Thank you Mike. very much. <laughs> We're going to start with a home game against University Prep, followed by, you ready for this, Valley at home. I love to say that, Mike. They were at Burl. Those are exhibition Nice close games. game for me yep. there. Yeah. Out of the way. Yep. I could walk to that one if I want to. Conference games, home against Mars at Hampton, at Plum, Indiana at home, at Armstrong County, Greensburg at home, at Knock to finish. Say it, Mike. Our longest trip is? To Armstrong. Love it. Goodbye, Fayette County. Goodbye, Beaver County. Goodbye, goodbye all we'll, those counties. Well, we do go to Westmoreland County, but it's just across the bridge. That. It's hard to believe that Lower Burl and this are in the same county. Yeah, when you think about yeah. it, that's a big county. It is. It's a it's a lot of area. One of the biggest in the country, actually. And no Lawrence County. That's probably the most important one. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Fifth Mount Pleasant Turner. The highest yet to commit one, Mike. 145 left of the first quarter. Now they go into the soft part of the zone to Cochran, but he me and, and Carter, big mouth, huh? me and Carter are on different pages together. Carter's trying to buy a call here, but no one touched it. <laughs> it's it's Mount Pleasant ball. 3-2 zone that time. Mount Pleasant changing up their defenses here. 
Salvatore tried to loop it up for Brander. He missed Ooh, it. Rebound my. and a foul by Roman. That'll be his second. And Brander will go to the line and shoot two at a minute and a half left of the first quarter. You know, Joaquin Roman really got in foul trouble early in the year. This uh, last three games, he fouled out of the Alder Dice game. And... Um, I think four on him against uh, Knock. He's one of only three players to score so far. Christ, Myers, and Roman. That's it. Brander will get another. Christ has nine. Roman has four. And Myers has five. And Myers is at the only three for Highlands. It's 18 to four. The start you were looking for. Yep. Had a little discussion before the game about how important this game is. Brander missed two, and Cochran climbs the ladder and gets told, it off of Johnson. Told the seniors you thought the last game was important. This one's more important. Well, and they, they get more important as we go now. Here's McDaniel high posting underneath the Christ. Got a man up in the air. Spin move. Turn oh, around. Wow. Got hammered. No call. Rebound Mount Pleasant. Goodness. Salvatore drives all the way through. Christ block. blocked it. Put it right back at him. Kunst, McDaniel, here comes the three. It's good. Antoine McDaniel showing his skills from out there, Mike. He has now 23 pointers this year. Hello, Guam. 21 to 4. We're into Canada, too, huh? Steal by McDaniel. And he kept his balance. There's nice Kunst. Pass. Nice bounce pass to Myers. Finally He's fouled. Yep. He'll shoot a couple at 47 seconds, and the Rams lead at 21 to 4. Mike JV started out to the same start tonight, 21 to 2. With a JV team. And you could say this every year under Corey Dodson. They get better as the year goes on every year. And that's continued this year. Perfect example, Mike. Knock beat him out at Knock by eight. <laughs> we put the mercy roll on him at Highlands. How about that? That was worrying some of the Knock faithful before the uh, main game started, and they were right. Sometimes the JV send a message for the horsey. Meyer gets and Myers gets another. Rams have shot eight foul shots already. You give them that many chances. Yeah. Mom Pleasant <laughs> hasn't shot one yet. 23 to 4. And now that. stepping on the sideline is Lucas Tui right in front of us as Myers and Kunst had him uh, double teamed over there against the sideline. Corey right in front of his family did that. I asked the, Corey's grandma if she was going to behave, and she said, absolutely not. Ah, I love those people. Can't beat Buddy, huh? Trelak, nice oh. pass to Kreiss, and he dribbled it on the baseline. Turnover, Highlands at 33 seconds. Second one for Highlands. Another chance to get the full court pressure out there. Here's Tui. Had three points in the first game at Highlands. Johnson backcourt. Long stretch over to Yurechko. Now Brander finds Johnson out of the corner. Goes baseline. Dumped it off to Brander. Jumper is good. Luke Brander has two baskets and four points of the six. It's 23-6. Highlands with the ball. 14 seconds and the arrow. Might just wait for one here. Kunst into the soft spot to Belak. Needs help. Back out to Jimmy. His three is down. He got that off in the nick of time, Mike. Uh, now they fire it deep, and that's the end of the first quarter. And what a first quarter for the Rams. Wow. They lead it 26 to 6. 26 points, Mike. I didn't, yeah, it didn't seem like that many, but uh, Trent Bielek was trapped in three seconds, and Jimmy hit that big three for us. Another Highlands basketball season means only one thing. We had a great time Tuesday night up at the Anchor Inn. Uh, everybody was there. Joe Andy D. continued a family tradition. They started way back in 1953. Great home cooked meals without having to do the cooking. Can't find something you like on the Anchor menu? Then you're just not hungry. Daily specials are available, as well as a blue plate special every day. And whatever you do, don't forget the popcorn, our favorite. Kitchen is open to 11. We're going to get there early tonight. So there's no better way to celebrate another Golden Rams victory on the hardwood than with friends and family at the Anchor Inn. That's the Anchor Inn, Freeport Road, Natrona Heights. Welcome aboard. Again, 7 o'clock start tonight. Get this out early. Mike, you mentioned football. All football games this year, 7 o'clock also. That's another good thing. And I I was on that mountaintop for a while. Oh, the other mountaintop I need to be on is when, uh, when it comes time for the WPIL to do their seedings for basketball playoffs, as we talked about earlier, they need to look at non-conference schedules. I promised I was going to beat on that, and yeah. now that Highlands beat Knock, I'm going to beat on it. Highlands non-conference schedule had a winning percentage of over 600, uh, under 400 for Knox non-conference schedule. Just a reminder. 
And you know, next year we go up to 5A, Knox and Stad 4A. I propose to both ADs that we get a home and home. Laura Hodgins and Union Tan do it in such a great rivalry. I think we should do it with Knox. I mean, Mike, those two gates are, you know, tremendous. Hey, you could play one in December and play one maybe in February. Play it at the, you know, yeah. the very end, a Saturday or, or the Monday wraparound. Cochran can't get it to go. It's knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Johnson. It's Highlands ball. Johnson, no points so far. Wow, that's all. Awesome. You know, Stosh likes to play good competition. So do I. But why go to Lawrence County? We can go over next door almost to Saxonburg. Myers out to Cochran. Long three on the way. Off the front rim, no good. Rebound Johnson. How about that? 2,000-point scores. Don't have a point yet. Cochran and Johnson. That is odd, yep. And it's only the first quarter. It is. Yep. And, Mike, I thought that was one thing we didn't have on our resume going into the knock game, and that was playing in front of a hostile crowd. We played great teams, but those showcases that – they're not screaming at you. No. <laughs> Johnson got shut off. Rams are doing a great job defensively on him. Here's Tui baseline. Now he's going to bring it back out and reset things. And Leary on him like a bulldog. You get Leary and Jimmy out yep. there with those hands. It's, that it's difficult. Defense, yep. Brandner against Christ, and they're yep. going to call Johnny on a foul. That'll be his second at yep. 707. That one was legit. He leaned in there. And now we see what happens. Johnny's going to go to the bench, a 20-point lead. We'll see if Mount Pleasant can cut into that here before the end of the first half. Chandler Timmons is going to check in for him. Brander at the line. Missed a couple earlier. Great picture of Chandler on the postgazette.com website. Game against Nock. He's uh, given a, the three-point eyes. I, f <laughs> I find that's, uh, that's what that meant. Brander gets the first. It's 26-7. to seven. Two out of two this trip. Easier to lead score with six of the eight. 26-8. Cochran, nice dump down to Leary. What a great pass. Kicked out. it back out to Myers. He gave up the two-foot shot for the 20-foot shot. There's now back out, to, yeah. back, back out to Cochran. Great pass. Leary again. This time it's... Uh, 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 uh. The Timmons shot was missed. Leary's on the line. Turnover Highlands. My player got some shot blockers, Mike. Leary gave up two point blank layups. That's about um, five shots being blocked in a box down there. Oh, that's a walk yeah, there. Yeah. Carry, a walk. <laughs> a little Pearl Washington for you. Turnover Mount Pleasant. John Kapinski, I think, didn't know what to call for Mike. He had, about he had his choice. Yeah, there. he had his choice. Took his time blowing the whistle. The awe of the cry kind of I think he waited for the guys to clear because they were gonna, yeah. there may have been a collision there. We didn't want that. So here's Kuntz now. Cochran puts it on the floor, drives in, got shut off. Now goes back to Kuntz. Myers, Timmins, Cochran, great pass, and Luke lays it in. There you go. His first basket, and the Rams lead it 28-8. Boy, it looked like Johnson walked there, too. But now Brandner, they're going to call a reach-in on Myers as the files mount. That's six against Highland's first half. Mount Pleasant's committed five. Mike, I want to say hello to uh, Jimmy's Aunt Teresa and his grandfather, Jim. They're in from Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. They never miss a game on YouTube. And uh, Kathy Black, Jim's mom, said this. Uh, Use the word a boot. I, said, uh -huh. I didn't know you were Canada until I heard you say that. A boot. So. <laughs> it's a boot time. They got to see one live. Hamilton, home with the Tiger Cats. And that's on the way to Toronto. I did not know that. I've been to Toronto a few times. I didn't remember going to Hamilton that. tried to steal the Penguins away. Brander with a turnaround jumper. It's down. He's having a good first half. He's got eight of the ten, and it's 28-10. And remember, Mike, he's only a sophomore, 6'6". Six, six. Jimmy's in a little bit of trouble over there, and now they stole it away but dribbled it on the line. Good defense that time by Tui, along with Brander, had the double team. Style top. Chandler trying to get some room in there against King. Now, great back door by Cochran, but they, they collapse nicely. Brandner and Johnson double team to make that play. Johnson's going to take it all the way to the basket against contact. No call. Brandner up no good. Rebound King. This time he's fouled. Looks like Jimmy got him from behind there, Mike. 
Great job on the offensive glass by Mount Pleasant that trip. Three times, yep. First for Kunst. He'll shoot two King, but that also puts Mount Pleasant into the one-on-one -on -one for the rest of the first half. And Roman and Kreis are ready to check back in. Long discussion with the official Sean Gooch and Alan Bolinski. Are you ready oh, now? What? Yeah. I don't know, to be honest. Not privy to that, huh? I think he wanted fouls before the one that was called. We've seen that on the other end, too. King missed the first. He'll get a second. He has any other basket other than Brander. Twenty-eight ten. Islands by 18. Johnny back in there with his two fouls. King gets a second try, and this one's down. Three for King. 28-11. Cochran to Myers. 1-3-1 one, one for sure this time, Mike. The drop's done, you know, this drops into a like sag, a sag, yeah. Oh, oh, ball's knocked away, but Cochran able to get it. Good hands that time by Yurechko. Underneath the Roman. Roman with a post move. Kicked it to the corner. Myers, though, unable to control it. This one time Corey wasn't ready to shoot, Mike. Cochran from 22 is a dipper. Rebound, and Johnny's going to come get it. Johnny goes all the way to the basket and put it down. Nice ball fake that time, Mike. When he faked that to the corner, it opened up right downtown. He's at 11. 30 to 11. Brandon oh, blocked by Kreis. Here's Cochran. Lead it out to Myers. Two on one. So McDaniel lays it up, missed it. Once again, they blocked those layups, Mike. They're, They're doing, doing well at job. it. Yeah. King. Now King's gimping a little bit coming down 35 and white. Three by Yurechko is missed. I'm sorry, that was Tui. And it's knocked out of bounds. It's Highlands ball. It's King all right. He's got. Yeah, Mike, he is really. Gimping a little bit. Yeah, having some problems getting down on the floor. They don't take him out, though. They take Yurechko out instead. Highlands with the ball at 419 left first half. Now look, it's a 2-3. It amoebas itself, doesn't yeah. it? Mm -hmm. It's 2-3 it's like Syracuse's 2-3. This one is. You see uh, Myers cut through it there. Oh, oh great pass and blocked by Brander as Brander got Christ. Roman with a great pass, but Brander said no. That had to be eight blocks now. And what they're doing, Mike, they're coming from behind. They're letting him get past them, and then they're blocking from behind. It's odd defense, but it's effective, huh? Here's Johnson. Johnson still with a donut. Brander out of the corner. His three's on the way. It's down. Luke Brander having a first half. He's got 11 of Mount Pleasant's 14 points. Now Cocker and Euro stepped it down there, got it to Roman. It's blocked. And another one erased by Brander, but they call the foul. Like, unfortunately, Brander has to be a third. Well, Brander is an eraser down there. Yep. But his third foul is going to – and Alan Bolinski complains to Mario Margella. Roman two for two from the line tonight. Make it three for three. A little help from the back room. Five for Joaquin. Carter Leary waiting to check in. Joaquin makes this one. The Rams have missed but one. How about eight, that? Huh? Eight for nine. Oh, eight you for did. ten. Now the Rams have stolen it as McDaniel got his hands on it. Back to Cochran. Back out to Christ, and the Rams will reset it. They lead by 17. They've led by as many as 20. Eight turnovers now for Cochran. My pleasant. Dump it down to Roman again. Now Cochran's wide open. Left elbow. Three ball is off the back rim. Rebound. Roman tipped it. And Kunst. She moved with those long hands. arms. You yeah. bet it. Christ kicked it back out. Kunst for three. It is short. This time the long rebound goes to Johnson. JJ forecourt. All the way down. Lays it up. Missed it, but it'll go to the line. A 253. For that one. That's Luke's first. Johnson will shoot two. Joe Lucchino and his son Joseph proudly welcome you to the Lucchino Insurance and Financial Group. Serving the AK Valley for decades, the Lucchinos are a broad-based financial advisory firm with a wide range of opportunities for both you and your business. If you don't, I get <laughs> If you don't like the stock market, 
if you don't like the stock market, it was down 600 points today because somebody has the flu in China. And maybe you would like to go Sometime a different route. Sometime you're up. Sometime you're down. Maybe you want to go a different way with your money. You can sit down with your, the Lucinos today and they'll review your plan and have your best interest at heart because Joe and Joe always know. They're located at 2318 Freeport Road, Natrona Heights, next to the Donut Connection. Or call them today, 724-224-8908 or 724-905-7583. Why wait? Let Lucino Insurance and Financial put you on the road to financial stability today. We appreciate those guys for waiting for us. Yep. Johnson made the first one. First point of the night makes two. We like to call it the roller coaster, Mike. And if you don't like to get on the roller coaster, well, they have other investors. Right. And if you want to get on the roller coaster, they'll help you with that, too. Uh, yep. Free ride. 31-16. The Rams led it 28-8. And they've had only three points since then. The Rams only have five points in the second quarter. As a long-term investor, I can tell you one thing. You can't time the market. Especially if you're young, you definitely want to look long-term. Time is on your side. Guns to put it on the floor. Jumps in with a little runner. Jimmy now with five. Averaging seven a game. 33-16. Highlands back up to a 17-point lead at 2.20 left till halftime. Salvatore and Johnson play catch. Highlands playing a 3-2 of their own now, Mike. Here's Tui in the corner. They played seven against Highlands. They played the same seven guys here. Johnson long, three short. Tui's chased it down in front of Coach Stosh over there. Now back to Johnson. Looks like Johnson wants to take that again, Mike. He's not afraid to pull the trigger. King over to Tui. Around McDaniel. Drives in. Layup. Missed it. Rebound. Price. Sky's up around everyone again. And Boy, King is hurting. Yeah, King, they got to get him out of there. He Mike. is hurting. Yeah. Bullet pass over to McDaniel. Let's a three go. And he missed everything. Urechko yeah, yeah. pulled it down. I think that was tight, Mike. Uh -oh. And now the Vikings throw it away and turn it right back over. At 136 left of the first half, Highlands 33, Mount Pleasant 16. I'm surprised King's not asking that. Come on, Mike. He is just really a uh, hop. I would expect that Allen knows his players, and yeah, this yeah. might be one of those you know, situations mm -hmm. that he's fighting through and they know it. Similar to Johnny the other night. Leary into Cochran. Back out to Kunst, where they move it so well. Myers, three, is in and out on a dipper. The Rams are cold from outside tonight. They only have three of them all in the first quarter. Johnny got the ball, we call it the short corner, Mike, where he becomes the point guard. And it's a great place to get the ball because everybody has their back to it. Here's Johnson. Salvatore. And Yurechko comes out to get it. Johnson at 33 at Highlands when these two teams met earlier in the month. 25 in the first half, Mike. Yeah. Maybe he's waiting for the second half tonight. Let's hope not. <laughs> Johnson goes in. He gets shut off by Leary. Needs some help. And kicked it back out. This is Tui. 45 seconds left of the half. Now Johnson. Right side against Cocker. Drives in. King. Jumper. In and out. Price had it. Lost it. Got it back. Over to Cochran. Johnny Battle for that rebound. Rams have it with 30 seconds left. Out to Kunst. Now to Leary. Now Leary put a nice ball fake. Goes in with a runner. Up around. No good. Rebound King. At 20 seconds, Mount Pleasant with the ball and the arrow, leading it, Highlands leading it by 17. Very frustrated cameraman, Mike, for one of the local stations. He was trying to get a basket down there. Nobody can make one. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your Rechko. Four seconds, three. Are they aware of the clock? Salvatore, one. Stole, oh, and a foul is called. And they're going to shoot the one and one with .2 seconds left. I think Luke, if he had his choice, would do that differently. The, the cameraman's happy. They might get a shot. Here. That's one of those situations. Not only does the offensive team have to be aware of the clock, but the defensive team does as well. <laughs> you can see Luke over there. Jeez. <laughs> I can't believe it. So here's Salvatore. One and one. First is good. His first of the night. 33-17. Mike, we've had seven points this quarter. Yes, sir. That's it. After 26 on the first. Got off to a great start, and then the second quarter's been kind of blah. And they don't have any time to do anything with it. As uh, Salvatore 
makes the second, and that's going to be your halftime score. Highlands 33, and the Mount Pleasant Vikings 18. Wireless Zone is the largest independent Verizon Wireless franchise in America, offering the most popular smartphones, tablets, connected devices, and all the latest accessories with award-winning customer service. Wireless Zone has a number of 5G-ready phones to support this new advanced technology, so stop in today and see what makes Verizon the world's largest and most reliable network. Wireless Zone has 12 area locations, including six in the AK Valley. Rams fans, your Wireless Zone headquarters are in Natrona Heights at the Walmart Plaza or Pittsburgh Mills Mall next to J.C. Penny and across from Victoria's Secret. Or find the Wireless Zone store nearest you by visiting wirelesszone.com. Halftime, Highlands 33, Mount Pleasant 18. We'll be back with stats and more right after this. All right, back at halftime. The Rams leading at 33-18. Dean, some stats. Yes, Mike leading the way is Johnny Christ at 11 points. Corey Myers has seven. Jimmy Quinn's five. Luke Cochran, two. Antoine McDaniels at one, three. Joaquin Roman has five. For Mount Pleasant, Luke Brander leads with 11. Two for Salvatore. Johnson, three for King. That's it. JJ with two points. Yes. Wow. 33-18 halftime. Mike Mount Pleasant, that score is 12-7 in that second That's right. Quarter. B&J Sports celebrating their sixth decade of outfitting our local teams and the great sports fans of the AK Valley. When it comes to all of your sporting goods needs, look no further than B&J Sports. Glenn Mills and his friendly staff provide that personal touch, customized high school jackets, team uniforms, trophies, plaques, any kind of sports equipment. You just can't beat the service at B&J Sports. They're located at 1605 and Freeport Road. Open 9 to 5, 30 weekdays and Saturdays, 9 till noon. So stop in today or give Glenn a call at 724-226-2762. Six decades says it all. B&J Sports. Nick Boucher called me, Mike, on Wednesday. Thanked me again uh, for helping out get that plaque. And he said it's so beautiful. And I said, well, thank Glenn Mills for that. He's very nice. Mm, very was beautiful. Two, he missed a three. And the Rams down the other way. Cochran dumped down to Christ on the baseline. But Brander's an eraser. He, he makes up for a lot of mistakes down there. Yeah, he made Johnny actually think about that. He one. did. Cochran got shut off. What a Fired pass. it to the wow. corner with a bullet. And the three by Myers is missed. But Long arms of Jimmy Kuntz. Jimmy goes in there and steals it away. What's your nickname? Inspector Gadget. Absolutely. Yeah, you like the way he oh moves my. those arms in and out, extends them? What do they call oh. it? Accordion, right? Look at this. When you get a screen by Joaquin, that, and Brander blocked it again, wow, he's going to get his fourth five. No, it, the basket's good. Basket's good. Is there a foul, too? Let's, Let's see. see. This is they call the goaltend. I think he's going to call the goaltend and not the foul. Mike. Okay. There you go. Interesting, huh? Oh, and Alan Belinsky threw his head back. In a Mount Pleasant state of mind over there. So, Christ gets the basket. I think uh, Johnny and Luke played. You take it. No, you take it. No, yeah. you take it. Somebody They're take it. They're making them think. <laughs> Three is put up by Yurechko is no good. And the rebound to Christ. Rams with the ball in a 17-point lead. Cochran all the They're way through. Get They're going to call an offensive yeah. foul on Luke. That'll be his second. And first on Highlands in the second half. And, Mike, uh, I think they can call that one because he kind of leaned in there and made his own space, as they would yes. say. Yes. This is the weirdest bleachers, Mike. Everybody's hanging on for dear life. We've got to carry equipment down here. You see that guy down there? Oh, I know. I, I've been the same way. And then you grab onto those uh, banisters going down the steps, they're, and, and they move. Yep. <laughs> Yurechko finally drains that one. And now it's tipped out of bounds, and Highlands keeps it as Salvatore and Myers went after it. Reminds me of a fun house. I don't know um, who designed this place. I'll take the other one from last year. The old one, yeah. yeah. The smaller one. 35-21. Highlands by two touchdowns. They've led by as many as 20, and Mount Pleasant keeps hanging around. Like I said, 12-7, to 7, they win the second quarter. That little matchup is giving trouble, Mike. Cochran lets it go. It's off the back rim. Rebound Roman tipped it. Who's ball? Highlands keeps it. Yep. They're going to say Brander knocked it out. 6.14 left of the third quarter. It's been a weird game, too. Yeah. They said jump out like we did. Christ with a jumper off the back iron. Rebound. Yurechko out to Johnson. Johnson goes all the way down around. Roman draws the foul and makes the basket. Well, Keem going to pick up his third foul. Mike, let's not get and now it's J.J. Johnson started. And now it's 12, 35-23. This is very similar to the game out of Derry. 
And Tyler Stachinski wants to talk it over at 6.04. The Rams' lead, which was once 20, is now 12. Getting a little weird, that's for sure. Have you been putting off that much need to work around the house? First of the year, time to call the pros at Beanie Renovations to help you tip off the basketball season with a new kitchen, bathroom, game room, or addition to make your home a winner. Over 100 years of combined experience on O'Brien and his team of professionals at Beanie Home Renovations guarantee that job will be complete on time exactly the way you want it and in plenty of time for the championship celebration. Customer service are top priority. Give Brian a call today at 724-351-3172 for a free estimate or visit your Facebook page. Beanie Home Renovations, where the B is always busy. We got to get busy here, Mike. Jake Johnson, chance for the three-point play. He drains it. He now has five. And it's 11 now. And the Rams are cold shooting the ball, too. Here's Cochran all the way down. Missed it. Rebound Roman Look missed it. Look at that. Look at that. It's just so weird. Couldn't stole it, though. The long arms of Jimmy. Inspector Gadget getting in there. He goes in. Corner to Myers. Step back. Now on the baseline to Christ. Kicked it over to Cochran. He's open. His three is no good. Rebound Roman. Able to muscle it away. Back to Christ. The Rams are ice cold from the field. Christ put it up. Missed it. Wow. Rebound Co Cochran. Dribbles it on the line. Turnover high. And once again, chance for them to cut it to single digits here, Mike. It's been a weird quarter and a half. Yeah, the Rams have just stopped scoring. They scored 26 points in the first quarter. They've had nine cents. They score 70 a game. Yurechko, 73. Mount Pleasant scores 49. Roman got the rebound. And you got to figure they'll start falling again. Here's Cochran. Kicked it back out to Myers. Into Christ. Battles for it on all. Did a nice job to get it. But Roman lost the handle. Back out. Nearly stolen. But look there at Cohen's fire in there to get it. Jimmy Give puts it on chance. the floor. And there's a foul. And I don't know who it's on. 14. See a fourth. Four. Four. And that's uh, Lucas Tui. Tui. And that'll be his first. On the floor, Mike. And again, everybody's had a chance to get a layup going here. And nobody's making it. Either. Point blank. Yeah, it's been it's been rough. The Rams now all of a sudden can't get it to go down. Here's Christ had it stolen. And Johnson. Johnson all the way down against Cochran put it in. 35-26 now, a nine-point game. I think it might have been too easy at the beginning. Maybe Cochran's right, foul. Right, yep. And most of the Rams' points are from the foul line. Let's see who they give that one to. That might be King. Rams have made 12 field goals. That's it. Nope, they're going to give that to Salvatore, his first. And I thought that was a shooting foul, Mike. Jen Price just getting here, Mike, from West Virginia. She thought the game started at 732, I'm sure. Special guest today. Luke there Cochran drains the three from the right side in front of the Highlands bench. At Highlands, Mike, guess who'd come calling? And that would be? James Franklin from about Penn that? State. Jim from State College made an appearance. <laughs> he used to call the fan. Back when I still listened to talk radio, I used to hear that. Here's King. Nice tip by Johnny. Oh, don't get that third one. Now King got a baseline to Tui around a man. Put it up, missed it. Rebound Cochran. Boy, they needed that one to go. Yeah, it might be these hoops, Mike. Nobody seems to be able Luke's to Luke's taking it, it coast to coast. And a foul. And, nope. King. That one's going to be on King. That'll be his third, I believe. Mike, speaking of Johnny Christ, nice article in the Valley News, and uh, they used your catchphrase on the front page. Saw that. Here's uh, Johnny. I understand the royalty checks in the mail. Of course, I stole it, too, so what are you going to do? In the article, Coach Stosh had a great uh, quote. He said, Johnny is Johnny. Cochran missed the first off the back iron. He'll get another. At 4.03, 38.26, Highlands by 12. I used to say Johnny being Johnny. About the same thing, huh? It's Johnny being Johnny. There you go. 
Six now for Luke, and back to a 13-point lead halfway through the third. Oh, driving all the way through is Tui, and that was re rejected. Ramps back the other way. Perfectly timed by Christ. Here comes Cochran. Cochran, and he's fouled again. This time on Johnson. I think it's time for Luke to take over, Mike. And I think he's doing that. He's forcing the offense in a good way and getting to the basket. You know, we talked about – I don't know if we talked about it on the air. I think we did, that Luke – his shot approximately half as many free throws this year as he did last. Now, I know there's games left, and hopefully a lot of games left, but he's just not getting to the line as much, and I think that's more of a, not a product of him. It's a product of the ball being in Jimmy's hands more, yep. and, and what that's done has freed Luke up, Luke up to score more. He's scoring more points per game than he did last year, and his shooting percentage is higher. So, you know, that, that's something that, that's really helped the Rams on the offensive end and helped Luke, too. Speaking of Luke, hello to Faye and Denny. Denny down in Metacross South. Uh, they're in the cabana enjoying the game. With the TV in the cabana, yeah. I'm jealous. It was 30-something here. It's been 30-something <laughs> and cloudy every day. Every day. We haven't seen the rose sun for a while. Here's Johnson. I understand it's an orange ball in the sky. Yeah, it is. Sometimes it hurts your eyes when you haven't seen it in a while. I had my eyes dilated yesterday. I was kind of thankful there was It wasn't out, yeah. <laughs> well, if you can have your eyes dilated, come to Pittsburgh in the wintertime. You don't have to worry about the that. place to be. That's right. 41-26, Highlands by 15. The foul was on Kunst. Johnson gets it deep for Salvatore. Dr. Lachetti took care of it. Dino. I other. still haven't told my sister we saw. <laughs> To like texture between the third quarter. It's the only way I'll remember. <laughs> Here's Johnson. Steps around a man. I got shut off. Gave up the dribble. And now Salvatore comes out to rescue. 3:15 to go. Salvatore kicked it to the corner. And now Brandner takes it. Brandner had a big first half. Hasn't done anything here in the third period. Jimmy looking on Johnson. Why you make that? The Rams have cranked there the defense, go. and there's McDaniel. But he's one on three. He doesn't have numbers. Kicked it over to Cochran. Going to let it go. Yes! Luke taking over here, Mike. All of a sudden, you look up. It's 18 points, Mike. And Blinsky needs his timeout. 2.52 left of the third quarter. And the Rams leading it 44-26. Light new top five out in 4A. We mentioned in the pregame, Highlands jumped back up to number one with their win over Knock. Uniontown stayed at number two, Mike. They lost to Laurel Highlands 62-54. They played Elizabeth forward in section tonight. Now it gets wacky after number three. Do you know who four is? Four is, you know, I have these written down, too. I actually have stuff. I'll um, save you a little. Ambridge. Ambridge. Yeah, that's crazy. They beat Hopewell 62-40. They're hosting Blackhawk tonight, so that'll change shortly. Blackhawk beat Ambridge the first time. So they're looking for, Ambridge looking for the split. But if they do split, they'll jump up on top because their, reg, their all, overall record is way better. They're 11-5 and five and Blackhawk 7-9. and nine. And Quaker Valley, they jumped in the fist ball again. They've been in and out of the top five. <laughs> Quaker Valley. Yeah. Quaker Valley, who's beaten Newcastle twice, but lost to Blackhawk and Ambridge and split with Central Valley. You try to explain yeah. Section 2. They beat Newcastle the other night, 79-74. They're hosting Hopewell tonight. So, again, with two weeks ago and uh, two section games ago, it looks like that's how the top five is going to finish. I keep losing ink pens. I'll get them all at the end of the night. <laughs> I wrote down green pen. You're, bouncing them, off the, you're bouncing them off the mirrors in front I'm of us. Telling you. And, and not only that, but they're trying to behave. It's the, the stance. I think everything is leaning forward. It's nice and long. We're gonna have you're gonna have uh, sore hamstrings tomorrow. Trust me. Thank God I got the heated seats on the way home. Yeah. From the back. Here's Salvatore left side. See what play Alan Belinsky came up with. His play was get it to Johnson. That's a good play. He's foul. <laughs> These are first world problems we have, Mike. Now well, let's see who. He has their hand in a cookie jar. It's Luke Cochran. It's, it's his third. Yep. Got to be careful. We need him on the floor, Mike. 2.39 left of the third quarter. Howlins has stretched it back out to an 18-point lead. And it's weird. It doesn't even seem like it's 18 now, does it? No, this is very reminiscent of the Derry game. At Derry. Because we haven't played him at home yet. That's Tuesday. That's senior night. Brander, turnaround jumper. Good. And again, Mike, you expect a little hangover after that great uh, knock game. That yeah, but they didn't have one in the first quarter. It came, no, in the, it no. came after that, which That's is really saying. weird. I felt very confident uh, when I talked to him before the game, how important this game was. Six Highlands turnover. 
Johnson all the way down, and he's fouled again. That can't be Luke. If it is, he's got to go sit down. That was, that was all set up. That was a bad pass by Jimmy. Jimmy gets the foul in frustration, but that was a pass he didn't need to make into Antoine there. Oh, good news, they didn't give it to Luke. They gave it to Jimmy. Bad news, that's Jimmy third. So he's got to be careful here. 2.15 left of the third quarter. Johnson at the line. That's good. There's a Mont Pleasant fan behind us, Mike. He's complaining on every call. One, they don't call me complaints. They do call me complaints. They They're late sooner. Right. <laughs> God bless me. You love people like that. Though. It's, it's consistent. It's good TV. It's consistency. And this is an odd setup, too, if you see, you know, the... Yeah, there's a ton of stands where we are. Yes. But on the other side, there's not. And it's the same oh, as... Oh, over the back. Like, apparently not. That would have been... I'm crying now, too. That would have been four on game. <laughs> Put your striped shirt away, Choma. There you Put go. Put it into Myers, and he laid it in. That's Myers' first basket since the first quarter, and it's 46-29. They started off fast at seven points. There's your trap, Mike, right where you Steal want by it. Christ. Oh, God, baby. Here's Johnny Here with the reverse. Wow, that was impressive. 153 to go here in the third quarter, and Tui knew it was over. 48-29. Johnson forecourt against the double team. Now, oh, beautiful oh, pass, and Brander with the send it in. That's the first time we've been dunked on all year. You know that, Mike? It is. Uh, Kerr out of Derry got us last year once. That was the only one we had last year. He's off playing uh, volleyball now at the next level. Talk about enjoying Johnny, Mike. I hope you know we don't see it very often, and we don't see it on the other side either. But good uh, defense by Myers, knocking it off a leg. How many windmill reverse dunks do you get to see at the high school level? Huh? Not often. Not often. When I was talking to Mike Rizzo before the game about him uh, the other night about how he, he says he, he, he gives a long list and gave diagnosis and this and that and the other thing, and then he finally says, "And being a freakish athlete doesn't hurt." <laughs> I said, Mike, I think you just should have saved that part, and that would have been all I needed. Leary got it to the corner. Myers, three. Yes. yes. There we go. Corey Myers now in double figures at 12. And the Golden Rams are up 20 again, Mike. 51-21. First time since 28-8. And I think that timeout coach Stoshinsky took Mike, uh, helped him out, huh? King now. I think so. Johnson the third stops, quarter. pops, front rim no good. Long rebound is controlled Ooh, by Leary. Hope he's okay. Yeah, he came down. He didn't have the ball. That's a terrible call. They called a travel, and Carter passed the ball. He can't travel without the basketball. Yeah, he never kept possession, Mike. He, he never did. He just he just tapped it out. All right, take your stripe. Shirt. I will. All right. For goodness sakes. <laughs> Our buddy's laughing over there. 51-31. Johnson's jumper is off the rim. Rebound. Well, Kink had had his fourth foul about three times. <laughs> that wasn't refereeing. It was just an observation. Myers loops it over to Leary. Sure he didn't travel. Back out to Cochran. Cochran drives all the way through. Kicked it over. Leary's open. Three ball up. Three ball down. Oh, Leary. 54-31. And it can happen so fast with them. And now Mont Pleasant just throws up an air ball and it's Highlands ball with one second left. There's time. You can catch and shoot this. 21 point third quarter. It happened. They can happen so fast. Leary lets it go. <laughs> Wide right. That's the end of the third quarter with a score. Highlands 54 and Mount Pleasant 31. Trivia time is A and B pizza time. Call 724-224-5311 to order your A and B pizza now. They've been serving the AK Valley since 1958. And remember, they offer a 10% discount for U.S. military, police, and EMTs. Mike, I got double trivia in case we need it. All right. 20-point, okay. uh, 23-point 23 leader we might need. Here's the first one. A little Kobe Bryant trivia for you. Okay. A lot of people don't realize he was born and raised in Pennsylvania, attended Lower Marion High School out near Philadelphia, went directly to the Lakers. Lakers, I think, I think he was born in the form, to be honest with you. But no, he started out at Lower Marion in Pennsylvania. Here's the question. As a senior, how much did he average a game? All right. Now it's got to be... He was freakish. Um, <laughs> that would be a good way to say it. 
I mean, I can only imagine him as a, as a high schooler. I'm going to say 35. I'm probably just short of him. You're actually a little too high. Close enough to 32. Team, team concept. You know, all he was worried about was winning. Yep. That was his most important thing. He got his all right, but he was a he was such a nasty competitor, and I mean that in the best way. Oh, yeah, Mike. He averaged 12 rebounds, 7 assists, and uh, they won the state championship this senior year, so that's all you need to know about that, huh? All right, fourth quarter. Rams leading at 54-31, and... They had gotten it down to what, 11? Yes. 10? Yeah. And, and the Rams just, they, it happened so fast with them. They go on these scoring binges. Ball is tipped, and Roman did a nice job to tip it back. Tipped and Myers controls yep. it. Now Cochran right side, into McDaniel, kicked it back out. Myers going to let it go. Nothing but nylon. Corey Myers alive with 15 points now. And there it is again. Back so consistent. Threes, yep. 57-31. Corey averaging 16 a game. Now has 15 on the night. The Rams pull this one out tonight. They'll be setting up Tuesday night. It'll be senior night, and they'll have a chance to raise the section banner for the third straight year. It has never happened in Highlands history. Yurechko lets a three go. It's off the front iron, and here comes Leary wanting to push it. He's got Myers ahead of the pack. He dumps it to Myers. Pass, Myers. Comes back out with it. Cochran with a head fake. Oh, bullet pass to Joaquin for the lay-in. Great pass by... I'll tell you what. He had to catch that, or it might have killed him. <laughs> 59-31. Uh -oh. Turnover Mount Pleasant at 6.54. Twelfth turnover for them. Eight for Highlands, and the Highlands Little Rams. Now up. Can't believe it, Mike. It's 28 points. Uh -huh. Doesn't seem like that, does it? No, it doesn't. Carter Leary now. Out to Myers. Cochran spins out to McDaniel. Long cross court to Myers. Ball is tipped a couple times. Two times by the Vikings. Good defense by them, and Highlands will key it in. They do play tough defense underneath. They give up 55 a game, which is a good number. Highlands gives up 52, which is tops in four A's. So that tells you that Mount Pleasant is a, is a good defensive team. Alan Belinsky was an assistant football coach at Penn Hills. He coached Aaron Donald. I did not know that. Back in the aughts. So he's been around. And they'll be playing Madison Square Garden next week. <laughs> Billy Joel. I saw a picture of Jack Nicholas on his 80th birthday. He, oh, oh, Johnson sent Leary down and made the basket. But Jack Nicholas turned 80. He said, I spent my, he goes, I spent the last week being 79 with young people like Billy Joel. And he posted a picture. I said, <laughs> look, Frank, Jack Nicholas is with Alan Belinsky. It's <laughs> exactly what it looked like. J.J. Johnson now with 10. He's a scorer, Mike. Even on a, a little bit of an off night, he gets a double figure. Isn't it hard to believe that Jack Nicholas is 80 years old? That just blew me away when I saw that. Yeah. He spent the time. He spent that week raising like millions of dollars for his hospital. It's kind of what he does now. McDaniel out top, left side Myers. Great ball movement, Mike. Oh, oh, Mar Brandner oh, look at that deflected catch. it right to Coach Tachinski, who still got the hands. Still got the hands. Hey, Mike, let me get a quick Super Bowl question. I know okay. you're, you're good at these type of things. Name the four. NFL coaches who played in a Super Bowl game. Myers hits another three, and he's red hot. He's got three in a row. I was waiting for that to drop before I finished the question. I knew it was going down. 18 now for Corey Myers. Are we want four people that played in it and coached in it? Played in it, coached in it, and won. They won the Super Bowl, and they won as a player. That's great. Yep. Let's see if we can come up with that. Obviously an elite list. Tony huh? Dungy. That is one. Brandner got it into King. Blocked by Roman and a foul. I'm going to rate these He's down. going to get his fourth there. And, of course, he played for the Steelers, coached the Colts. How about Mike Ditka? Played for the played for the Cowboys and coached for the Bears. And he's in one one two, by the way. Okay. Two down, two to go. Dungy and Ditka are good. 
be any of the early coaches, of course. Yeah, yeah, one goes way back. One goes way back? Mm -hmm. To play really early and then, I mean, coached early. I'm uh, saying could have coached early because he... I'm going to go back to the 80s, I believe. Oh, okay. Well, 80s we can we can do. Here's a timeout. Let's tell the folks about Phoenix first. Why don't you do that, and I'll, I'll think some that. more. You think I'll think some, some more. more. Two more to go. Are you or someone you know in need of physical or occupational therapy? Why not consider a caring therapist at Phoenix Rehabilitation and Health Service in Detroit Heights? Phoenix specializes in one-on-one -on -one personalized care, coupled with latest techniques and equipment in physical therapy services. They deal with any type of injury, specialize in orthopedic conditions, including sports, workman comp injuries. Phoenix Rehabilitation Health Service is conveniently located on Heights Plaza near Blessed Sacrament Church, right behind Eaton Park. They have daytime and Saturday hours a picture busy schedule. Call them today at 724-224-5090 or visit them on the web at phoenixrehab.com. How about Tom Flores, Dean? That's the one I Because he was get. a backup quarterback with the Chiefs in that Super Bowl correct. IV Very good, and Mike. coached the Raiders. I still don't know how he's not in the Hall of Fame as a coach. Brander, Brander off the inbound. Nope. Boy, it hung up there for a while, yep. and McDaniel has the rebound. So I got one to go. One to go. Very and I got good. five minutes. I'll make it. Yep, okay. Um, I hope. <laughs> I don't want to throw your concentration off. No, we're good. Here's Myers. Back out to McDaniel. Five minutes left, fourth quarter. Highland 62, Mount Pleasant 33. Cochran in amongst the tall trees. They fight it out of there, but Jimmy Kuntz comes out to get it. By the way, they're playing Super Bowl this Sunday. In case I heard. I will watch. Fox has it. Dude. I'm interested. I, I like to. Sh I, we got to give a Super Bowl prediction. I am very you. happy for the people of Kansas City. Well, I am too, and we have a personal connection. Yes, we do. Tom we'll Girardi, talk about yeah. that. There's a. Oh, now. Jimmy backed into him, and he'll get the foul. It's Brander. That's a. What Jimmy's going, what did I do? Yeah, I stood there, and he fell on me. <laughs> 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 this ought to be interesting to explain. Oh. Don't. Oh. Yeah, no, they did call fourth, Jimmy. Yeah. That's his fourth. I stood there and he fell on me. I did. Fun. That hurts. Some All right, I'm interesting trying, calls I'm trying to think of some of the coaches. How about, how about, a, how about a little help on this one? Anything okay, you can get. Uh, Brander makes the first. This will be a little obtuse, but I know you. You'll know this. He was a backup quarterback for the Green Bay Packers when they won. Was it Doug Peterson? Very good. Okay. Mom, how'd you know that? Because Doug Peterson was a backup quarterback for the Green Bay Packers. I did not know that. Brander makes them both. And a coach at the Eagles. That's an interesting list. That is a great question. Thank I, you for that. I appreciate that. Here's Cochran. Our Super Bowl trivia. Out the Kunst. Well, my heart is with Kansas City. My head right. says San Francisco. Don Girardi, our football coach. His brother is a coach on the Chiefs staff. Great article on him this week in the Valley, Mike, about quality control and all he does. It was a he's, day in the light. He's on the offensive side of the yes, ball, I believe. Oh, there's a, yep. I was going to say with that uh, family. Of course, Frank's a good defensive mind. but uh, Frank coached him and when he went to high school. He was an All-American at Geneva. Jumped, bounced around some uh, colleges. He was at uh, Northwestern, and then they got the call from Mr. His uh, offense coordinator for Northwestern became the uh, offense coordinator there. Here's Johnson forecourt. Corner, your edge go, and that is down. He loves that shot from over there. That's the second one he's hit. Tonight, he's got six, and it's 62-38. Then Andy gave him the call, said, you want to have something to eat? <laughs> Did you, media night, Andy Reid had a Hawaiian shirt on. It was great. I like Andy Reid, and if he won, that'd be nice, too. There's a three by Myers, no good, and the rebound to Mount Pleasant. But the day in the life consists of basically getting up in the dark, coming home in the dark. That's their That's line. the way it works. Yep. That's the job. John Gruden, when he coached at Pitt, he said he was driving McKnight Road at 3 o'clock in the morning every day going in. Wow. Eighth foul, fourth on Luke. Luke has four. Jimmy has four. Joaquin has four. I have a halftime score. Knock 38. Terry 28. Once again, hanging around, huh? Two teams, a little bit of a hangover after a Tuesday night. Tremendous game. Jacob Johnson with 11 points, the 1,000-point scorer. Only the seventh player in Mount Pleasant history to score 1,000. Would you like me to name the first six? We, I'm not going to ask. I know you know it, though. We, we've had 13 total. <laughs> Second by Johnson is good. <laughs> <laughs> 
62 to 40. Highlands by 22. He's got a dozen. Branner's going to take a rest now. Here's Kunst. To Myers, to Roman. Roman, jumper. No good. Rebound tipped. Leary has it. To Cochran, back up and in. And you look up and look at 13. Get near his average, 18.5. 64 to 40. Rams led by as many as 28 here. That was in the third quarter. Salvatore went baseline. Now Yurechko, he's not bashful from over there. Johnson, top of the circle, drives in, put it up. Oh, and a little nickel dimer. Yeah, it looks like you have Joaquin walk the plank here, Mike. Joaquin the plank twice here this yes. week. There he goes. Now where did he follow? Did he follow it Sunday, maybe? I think so, against all of us, yeah. Yeah. We've had so many line. games this last yes, year. And then we're not going to play at all. It's like we're going we're gonna to finish up next week, and then we may not play for two weeks if we get a bye, which you expect. You're allowed to have two scrimmages, and uh, I believe. How's he going to want to do it? To have two in a week or one in each week? or You're allowed to a certain date, Mike. I think when the playoffs begin. So oh, okay. Even if you don't participate. Then you got to be done. Yeah, well, then gotta that's got to happen early in the first week then. And I went last year, Mike, to the Fox Chapel High in scrimmage. It was a bloodbath. I mean, you think they were playing for the uh, national championship. And that's... Scrimshaw just has those guys play so hard. Johnson didn't score till the second quarter. Had two points in the first half. He's got 14. And spoiler alert, we didn't back down for him. <laughs> no surprise. 255 to go. Highlands by 22. So I'm going to imagine that'll be one of them because they're locals. Rams looking to go to 18 and 2 and 8 and 1 in section. Now McDaniel lost the handle. And a turnover. Tenth turnover for Highlands, Mike. Here's Gabe Tatter's forecourt, and he's fouled. That Lukey. Kajowski. They're slow to put the numbers up. Yep. He gets his first. Everybody calls him Eddie, but I still know him as Luke. First one by Tatters is off the back rim. And the reason why they call him Eddie is because of Luke Clark. He was there first. <laughs> Belak is also in there. He got first half action today. Chandler Timmons in the lineup. Gabe Tatters on the scoreboard. Six foot senior. And it's 64-43. Here's McDaniel. Out to Kiowski. Timmons. And Leary. And Belak. So you've met the five Rams. <laughs> there you go. Kiowski. Near center circle. And McDaniel goes up to get it. Leary around a man. You may be looking at next year's team, Mike. That's a lot of it. All underclassmen there. McDaniel back out to Leary. He's going to let it fly, and he hits it. He's got two of those, and six on the evening. And guess what, Mike? You look up, we're almost at 70. 67-43. Crazy, huh? It is. Two minutes remaining, and Timmons with a reach around and knocks it out of bounds. And Alan keeping Bo them below our average of 52. Alan Bolinski hands out stretch once a foul, but none to be had. What was that all about? Rams knocked it out. Right in front of the Vikings bench. And now Ryan Borkowski goes back court to get it. He drives in. Oh, Try to fit it inside to Gallagher, and it's stolen away by Kialski. McDaniel drives it down and puts it in. There you have it, Mike. 72 on the button, huh? And not done yet. He's got five. 69-43. 72. <laughs> what am I looking? That was a two-point basket, not a five. I swear they had 70 up there a minute ago. If they did, they took it off. Yeah. Landon Signorella and Zach Baylog are in now. All right, so we need three more to get the average. Scrying all day, Mike. <laughs> and isn't tomorrow your anniversary? Tomorrow's my anniversary. Happy anniversary to you and Thank Kathy, you. especially to Kathy. Seven, <laughs> yeah, 17 years. Can you believe that? There's Kiowski. 
I've met them all, and I'll leave it at that. Here's Signorella. Out to Belak. Yeah, I can go... Uh, 112 remaining. Over 25. How do you like that? <laughs> Timmons in the post. Goes in. Got fouled. And Chandler's going to shoot a couple. I believe it's going to be his first trip to the line this year. Am I correct? Let me check on my stats here. You are wrong. He's three for four from the line. Oh, even better. First by Chandler is up, in and out, and stays out. Go on, Chandler, give me the 70. That's where I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got a chance now. 105 to go. They're gaslighting me, Mike. <laughs> a lot of JVs in there. And they're to me, they got a, they have guys in there that, you know. I'm waiting for Timmy Simpkins to get off the bench at this there point. There you go. There's my 70. Is it up there? It's up there. There you go. First point for Chandler tonight. 70 to 43, and Khalil Long comes in replacing Timmons. This is going to be a project for next year, Mike. Khalil Long has come so far in a short Man, can he jump? period of time this year. He looks good. Yep. On the football field to help, too. Driving all the way through is Mason. Shot was blocked, and here's Khalil with it. Out to Kialski. He's as big as Johnny. Let's get old Eddie loose for a three-pointer here. Baylog. Now Kialski again, 43 seconds. Now Belak. Has to up oh, Signorella. I like Belak to Baylog. That's my favorite. There Sounds like a hockey line. Kialski. 35 seconds. Belak. Somebody shoot the ball. You know, these guys play hard don't in practice. I, don't, I hate when they just hold the ball. Play to the I think whistle. they're being instructed. Yeah, but here's yeah. Signorella. And Memphis, they got, New York, uh, Nixie, you got to say. Somebody got punched in the face for yeah, taking a shot. That's with different. Those guys, those guys get paid. I still think you play to the whistle. I'm old school, you know that. Courtney, start the bus. Eight seconds to go. This one belongs to the Rams. Highland 70, Mount Pleasant 43. The magic number is one for the Rams' third consecutive section title. One more road to home, Mike. I was a little worried about this one, being on the road after a big game on Tuesday night, but the Golden Rams prevail here. Let's see everybody at senior night. The honor these three seniors have done so much for our school. All right, let's do it. Thanks to Courtney Stewart for her help tonight. Once again, that final score. Highland 70, Mount Pleasant 43. The Rams go to 18-2. For the Dean, Mike Choma, this is Mike Pavlik. So long, everybody.